We want to know what the word of the Lord says to us. We want God to speak to our hearts. Now God will change you. If he speaks to you, he'll change you. Glory to God. He'll, he'll set you on a path that will bring you to victory. Glory to God. But we have to set our sights on Him. Turn your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 5. And let's read one, one verse of Scripture here. We'll go from there. Ephesians chapter 5. couple of scriptures here actually. Let's look at, uh, I'm going to back up here on you. I didn't tell you where it was though, did I? Uh, well, let me just back on up. We're going to have to back on up, ain't we? We keep backing up. When we run out of room, we'll start from there. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse, let's just start at verse 1. It said, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Now I believe her, but if I'm right, that word followers mean, means imitators. Now some people don't think that you ought to imitate God, but according to this scripture we are. <laughs> be, and be followers of God. And walk in love as Christ hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Now, it's not my subject at all this morning, but it says here to be followers and walk in love. Somebody asked a man of God one, one day, said, what's the biggest need of the church? And he replied, to walk in love and to be led by the Spirit. I believe that's right. The moment we get out of love is be the moment that we start separating ourselves from God. There's no doubt about it. Amen. The moment that we get out of love, the moment we begin to judge. There's some things need to be judged, but some things is not in our hands. And we don't need to even touch them. How many can say amen to that? Amen. There's things that's God's job and His job is not our job. Right. Glory to God. Amen. amen. You know the Bible says, this is kind of a statement here we'll just kind of leave hanging. We're going to leave this one hanging on you. <laughs> he said, I'll have mercy on whom I will. Glory to God. Thought he had mercy on everybody. Well, he does. He does. But he said, I'll have mercy on whom I will. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So, when it's God's job, it's not ours, is it? Jesus told us pretty plainly, as I said, this is not what I want to talk about, and I'm just going to touch on it. Jesus said plainly, to judge not. That's his own words. Judge not, lest you be judged. Well, it's the easiest thing in the world to go around judging people. Easy. No, it's easy. It is. Well, do you, do you remember what Jesus said about that? He said, he said, first, get the moat out of your own eye. Yeah. And he said, then you'll see clearly how. This is, is going to show us how to help other people. Not just to judge them and say, well, you shouldn't do that. You know. Well, if that was me, I wouldn't. It's a, how many has said that and talked that way? What well, if that was me? Yeah. Well, it's not you. We're not qualified no, we're not. to make those kinds of calls over people's lives. 
And to be able to see clearly, we're going to have, we'll have to be able to see God's way. So, when you can remove the mote that's in your own eye, then you'll be, or the beam, actually it says, the beam. You'll be able to see clearly how to get the mote out of your brother's eye. So how in the world could we be able to help somebody if we've got a beam over our own eyes? That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, it's not going to happen, is it? So like I said, the moment we start getting away from the love of God, we'll start doing all these things. That's right.